We also take a closer look at President Moon's remarks regarding the new administration's economy-related policies during the Q&A, where his focus was on government restructuring, welfare and trade. Kim ji reports. During his speech marking President Moon Jae-in's 100th day in office, the president dismissed concerns of a tax hike to fund the government's income-driven growth initiative. The president said the issue has already been covered when the administration announced its tax reforms earlier this month. The measures included a hike on the corporate tax rate from the current 22 percent to 25 percent and on the nominal tax rate of top conglomerates as well as the super-rich. Also, also, the president emphasized major restructuring of public agencies and their state-funded projects by tackling redundancies and scrapping projects with low returns. He said the restructuring process will be evident in his upcoming 2018 budget proposal scheduled for submission to the National Assembly in September. Referring to its real estate measures introduced earlier this month, President Moon said they seem to be working as they are the toughest set of measures the government has laid out so far to curb housing speculation. The president added the administration could unveil stronger measures if necessary, but for now, he says the focus is on providing the working class and newlyweds with affordable rental properties, with plans to increase the number of public rental housing for the youth to be unveiled soon. On the trade front, the president said the government is confident in handling requests from the U.S. to make revisions to the bilateral free trade agreement. He said the status of Korea's trade department has been elevated so that it could effectively deal with changes to the FTA with its American counterparts. The president also elaborated on the FTA's positive impact on both countries, dismissing criticisms that the agreement has led to job losses in America and exacerbated U.S. trade deficit. Kim Jian, Arirang News.